it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here to introduce you to a new product that I've actually been using for almost a year now. It's called Baden Mitten and this is the flyer from it. It is a magical mitten that is used to exfoliate the skin. And this is what it looks like. They've actually updated it and mine is a bit frayed already. It's been used for almost a year now and it is used to take off the dead skin cells and other impurities as they glide off the skin. It's very interesting how it looks. I don't know if you can see on this picture, but I'm going to demonstrate it. If you could see those little pieces right here, that's the dead skin that comes off, the dead pieces. So what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to soak in a bath or hot water for at least 10 to 15 minutes and let, let the heat kind of open up the pores and then the steam will loosen the residue that comes off. Now, the other thing that's very important to know about this, you only use it once a week because it can actually be irritating to your skin. And just if you're not used to it, I've been using it now for almost a year, as I said. I started it last, end of last December, and it's November now of 2013. So uh, you can use it to exfoliate any part of the body. But what I do is I will take it and I will start with the bottom and work my way up because that is good for your circulation. So I start with the soles of my feet and then I move upwards. So what I do is I wet this and I make sure I wet it with the hottest water possible while I'm in the shower. You could do it in the bath too. And then I wring it out and then I put my hand in it like so. And this is supposed to be used to wrap around but I don't really use this string here. And then what I do is I'll do it in a circular motion and I'll scrape up and do it gently at first if you're not used to it and you will see, you will literally see those little pieces coming off. And what I do is I'll do one side and then I'll use the other side since it's two-sided and then from there I will rinse it off again, wring it out, get off the pieces that are on there. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to clean off your skin, you want to keep those pieces on the skin because that helps get off more. It helps you exfoliate more. So it's like it says, do not rinse off the roll of fragments. They facilitate exfoliation by sticking to other dead skin cells and re residue creating a snowball effect. So what it is, is you'll keep doing that. So again, avoid over, over scrubbing, especially if you've never done this before. So like I said, I start with my feet, work my way up, do my front area, and again, around, even around my abdomen in a circular motion, and then my back, and then work my way up. Be careful in your private areas, you want to not really be doing it at all. And then I even do my face, all over my face, even your lips and your neck. And I always try to work up when I'm doing on the face. You try to scrub it where you're working your way up with the skin. You don't want to go against the skin where you're pulling it down. You want to actually pull it up, especially with the neck. Try to pull it up like this. And then the last thing I do on my arms. And what I found is that my arms found a lot of dead skin cells come off. So what I'm going to try to do right now is to demonstrate it to you just using my hands. And it may take a couple minutes to, oh, the water's getting hot really fast. No, it's not. It's actually not hot. So hopefully I can talk over this water and it won't be disturbing. And let's see. So other things you need to know is only use plain water. Uh, soaps, lotions, or oils may make your skin slippery and prevent exfoliation. It is important not to rinse off your body until you're completely finished with the exfoliation. Be certain all excess water is removed from the mitten every time you rinse it during use, as excessive water on either the mitten or the skin causes a slippery effect and may not give you the best results. Uh, let's see what else. Um, besides exfoliation, you can use the baby mitten for massaging your skin during your everyday showers. For this procedure, it's acceptable to get the, the baby mitten wet as you've already exfoliated. So you simply massage your skin one or two minutes while you're underwater, including your face. Um, and you may start gently first. Once you can get accustomed to it, then you can apply more pressure gradually. So I've made this water hot enough so I can demonstrate it on my arms. I'm just going to show you on the lower part of my arms. So I haven't been in the shower, so we'll just simulate the idea that I've already been in the shower and my arms are already nice and uh, pores are open. So I'm getting this really, really as hot as I can handle it. And I'm wringing it out. And now what I'll do is I'll show you I'm going to put it in my left hand because I'm going to work on my right arm and let's see what we get. So what I'll do is I'll just scrub it like this and see if I get anything that comes off. I don't know if I will get much coming off my skin right now, 
because I just did it the other day. A little bit. I see a little bit coming off. It's getting kind of red. I don't see much. Not that much. My skin is getting a little bit red, which just means that the circulation is improving. But right now, I do not see much coming off on the mitten. So apparently, since I've just done it on Friday and today is Sunday, I'm not really getting anything to come off. So that's visible. But just so you know, it does come off. I don't want you to think I'm just making it up. But I've seen some amazing, like, amazing amount comes off, especially my arms and my legs, usually. So um, let's see what else I can tell you about this. Um, oh, another important thing is do not exfoliate if your skin is sunburned or have open wounds. So if you want to order this product, and I will have links below this video how you can order it and learn more information and can watch more how-tos about it. Um, also, on any open skin, it will, it will worsen the wounds. Again, they said do not use this more than once weekly. That is really important. Also, do not share this with anyone because you can transfer anybody who has skin infections. You don't want to transfer it to the other person. So do not share this with anyone. I mean, you, you shouldn't be thinking that you should bleach this out because you should never put anything on this mitten. Once you, when you rinse it off and clean it, only use some soap and water. And what I do in case it's retaining any odor in, in the mitten itself is I'll actually hang it outside and let it air dry. And let's see, what else is there to tell you about the mitten? Um, so there is, more, like I said, more information on the site with the person who, f who discovered it and where it came from and more benefits about it. But I've been doing it and I also blogged about it for quite a few months. And I will give you a link to my blog post as well to, for you to read about my results. And it says here you can rub it on your body or face using an up and down or back and forth motion while your skin is damp. And use the right amount of pressure that suits you. So don't don't put too much pressure if you think that it's um, hurting you too much because you don't want to do that. You don't want to hurt yourself. The idea is to exfoliate. So the idea is you'll see your skin change dramatically. Like if you had anything that was there. Like especially your face because your face you notice more than anything else. That's the most visible part of your body. So as you use it, what you might want to do is take some pictures. Take a picture before you start using it, and then after you start using it. So that means like even the first time, and even after each successive week, you might want to take pictures and show people uh, the difference you progressively change. Because don't forget, what it is is our skin is holding in a lot of dirt and stuff, and if we don't clean it on a regular basis, it's amazing what how how nice and natural it is underneath it when you peel off all those dead layers. It's like peeling off the, the layers on, on skins, the skin of the onion. When you keep peeling off the layers and you peel off and you finally get to the actual onion itself. So the same thing with your skin. You're actually just taking off all the dead stuff. So some people may use a, like a brush, like dry skin brushing, but this is different. The, the weave of this, the bait and mitten, is very close to the way the skin is. The, the weave of the skin, so it's really com um, comparable to it. It's almost like it's symbiotic, so that's the benefit of it. And it was used in ancient times, and the woman who brought it here, she heard about it and decided to create this for people to use, and some people have had some really amazing results as testimonials uh, on the site and all different kinds of other information. So I hope you try this out, because this would be a good thing for a holiday, a holiday gift for someone um, to bring out their own natural beauty because it's best to use natural things. I prefer not to use things that have chemicals in them for exfoliation and even if you use like a, a some people use these other kinds of exfoliation things in the shower but I don't know if they really do the same thing as this. So like I said, it really does the job even though on my arm I couldn't show it to you at the moment but when I get in the shower and my skin is really, pores are really open and it's heated and it's warm it really comes off. And what I do is sometimes I'll do twice, like I'll do my legs once over, like both legs, and then I'll do it a second time. It depends on how much time I have. If I have more time, I'll do it longer. So what you might want to do is when you're planning out to use this once a week in your shower or your bath, give yourself enough time. So don't do it when you're going to be rushed. Do it when you have time to actually do this and do it fully all over your body. But again, first month or two you may want to be a little more gentle on your skin 
you've never done anything like this, you don't want to cause yourself irritation, then you'll not want to use it anymore. So you want to go slowly and gently. And then you can increase the pressure as your skin gets used to it and it and it won't cause any harm. I mean, I've never had any harm caused me by it and my skin did get kind of pinkish, especially in certain areas. But again, go gently, especially on your face, your skin on your face, be a little more gentle on. And um, if you have any other sensitive areas of your body that you know would be harmful to it, and again, avoid any open wounds or cuts or anything like that, because that won't be good, and sunburning as well. So that's the information about the Baden Mitten, and I hope you try it out, and I thank you for watching. It's the Russ and Vegan Gal.